welcome to Dining with Diamonds. My name is Em, and if you're new here, hi! <laughs> welcome to the channel. I'm so happy to have you here. I hope you'll consider subscribing and staying and hanging out and joining with <laughs> and joining me in this little diamond painting adventure I've got going on here. And if you're coming back, hi! Welcome! So, um, we are quickly approaching the end of the year, which is kind of crazy. <laughs> I can't believe that 2021 is over. It's been quite a year. I don't know if we can say it was much better than 2020, um, but I feel like that's up to everyone's interpretation. Um, however, we are all here because we love diamond painting, and this video is the first in a little mini-series of end-of-the-year uh, wrap-up videos. Um, and I realized I have never showed you all my diamond painting stash. Um, it's not as impressive as some of the other stashes I've seen here on YouTube, but it definitely is still a stash. And I've got some fun paintings to show you. So I thought it would be fun to do an end of the year stash video. How many kits do I have and what kits do I have in my stash? Um, at the end of this year and most of these canvases I purchased during this year so it just it makes sense to me to do an end of the year stash video um so how this is going to work I am going to start with all of the canvases that I have loose so they're not in boxes or they're in tubes um that way I can show you the canvases easily um, I decided, because originally I wanted to take all of the paintings out to show you, but I realized that might not be a feasible thing to do, so I am going to probably not show you the canvases that I've unboxed on this channel, but if you'd like to see what those canvases look like, I will link up in the eye the playlist for all my unboxings, because all of those canvases will be in this video today. Um, and you can check that out. Well, most of them. Some of them I've, I've completed already, and that will be in a different video. <laughs> a different wrap-up video. Um, but the ones that I haven't unboxed here on the channel, or the ones that I really just want to look at again, <laughs> I will definitely take out and show you all, because I feel like that's fun. We come to see stash videos to see the stash, and I feel like if I don't show you guys some of the canvases, that would be really sad. Um... <laughs> So we're going to do that and we are just going to dive right into this. I hope you enjoy. So I actually wanted to start with my dye moon shop canvases because I actually do have a couple more that I haven't shown you all um, or unboxed for you all here on the channel because I got them during my hiatus off of YouTube and I'm actually really excited to show you them. So this is the first one. So this is... Sailor Moon by Cheriyuki. I got this in a 45 by 63 centimeter round drill. Um, I love Cheriyuki's artwork and I am a little sad I didn't unbox this for you all here on YouTube, but I'm showing you now, so it's fine. And of course, because of the way I have this set up, we can't get the whole canvas in frame at once, but it's also a, a decently large canvas. But look at how cute she is. I love this image so much. I just love the anime art style and my boyfriend is big into anime. So this was like kind of perfect. I've never actually seen Sailor Moon, but I just thought this image was so adorable and I feel like it'll look so cute once it's done. This isn't the largest size. There is a size bigger than this, but I just thought it was rendered really well for how small it actually is. And they're actually, is even 1AB in this new version of the canvas. I think it's this one. Is this it? No, I lied to you. That's not the one, it's this one. <laughs> this one is AB 819, and that is kind of spread out throughout the canvas pretty darn evenly. Um, but she's so cute, she's so cute. And I didn't unbox her on the channel and I wanted to show you her. Um, but that's the first Dime Moon Shop canvas I have in my stash. Uh, the second Dime Moon Shop canvas I have was also from the same order. Um, I got this as well during my hi hiatus off of YouTube, so I didn't unbox it here. But I think I'm saving this. Oh, I'm so sorry, my phone's going off. I'm saving this for a rainy day because oh, 
this canvas is so gorgeous and I, mm, I just don't want to do it right away. I want to savor having her in my stash. <laughs> oh my gosh. So this kit might look familiar to you if you're familiar with Dime Moonshop's artists and the artwork. This is a pretty um, popular canvas from Dime Moonshop, or at least I've seen it around. This is Dark Lilith by Margaret Morales. And I did not unbox this on my channel either, but I wish I did because my reaction when I opened this was like, <gasps> so the funny thing about this is my boyfriend actually pointed this one out to me and was like, can you get that? I'm not, I'm not kidding. I'm like, James, you know, this is an expensive canvas, right? He's like, I know, but it's really, it's really nice. I don't know if he just means this part's nice here. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I joke sort of. Um, but he was super into this one and it's another like anime art style one she's badass it's a great addition for like a video game person it just reminds me of like a heroine and entre entre i almost said entrepreneur an ingenue <laughs> it reminds me of an ingenue in a video game she's so cool and this is the updated rendering this is in square drills this is the largest size of 60 by 79 square, and it did come with a 310 AB. I, I'm obsessed with this canvas. I'm literally obsessed with it, and I don't want to touch it until, like, I, I have the urge to, because right now, I'm like, I need her to stay in my stash so I can admire her. I can't do her quickly, otherwise I'll be sad when she's done. I already know it. So that is my second dime moonshop canvas <laughs> and the last and final dime moonshop canvas i have was in this tube i actually unboxed this here on my channel so this was the first of the newer canvases that i received or that i purchased from dime moonshop um and really quickly we're gonna open it and take a look at it this came with a whole bunch of other goodies because i opened it during the artist launch this is Under the Sea by Stee Ann Mermaid. It's 45 by 56 centimeters in round drills. And she's so cute. I really, really love this one. This one really impressed me and made me um, kind of want to purchase more Dye Moonshop kits. The only kit I've done or that I started working on and have yet to complete is Lavender Witch, which I really love. The only thing that was holding me back was the amount of confetti in it. And in most Dime Moonshop canvases, that's actually the case. Although, this has a pretty decent amount of color blocking. There's only 40 colors in here. Um, and it's pretty tiny. It's, again, 45 by 56. So, I feel like this would go pretty fast. I don't really see how it wouldn't. But, they tend to have a lot of confetti Dime Moonshop canvases. But, oh my goodness. And all of the newer canvases have been coming with ABs. And it's just so exciting um, to see all the upgrades Dime Moonshop has gone through this year. Sorry for the shaky cam, by the way. The way I'm doing this is not great. But anyway, um, I just feel like Dye Boon Shop has come a long way. Um, and I'm excited to see what they continue to put out, what artists, what artists they put out in the new year, what upgrades they'll have. This is actually not as soft as the other two canvases I have. The other two canvases are much softer than this. So they've upped their game even since their first upgrades, which whew, I love for them. I'm so happy for them. Oh, I put the Dime Moonshop ones away. And the next one we have is my only Craftably in my stash. Um, I got this kit because I really wanted to try Craftably. I just haven't gotten around to do it yet. So this is Butterfly Collector Brielle. I'm gonna open it for you so we can take a look at the dimensions. So I got this because pink, yes. And in round drills because it came with electric drills which was so exciting to me. So this doesn't have centimeters on it. Maybe the tube does. Maybe the tube does. Um, it does not. So it's an 18 inch by 24 inch canvas, which I don't know what that is in centimeters because math is not my strongest suit, but it looks so cute. Like look at these electric girls in here. I'm obsessed. I love that Craftably does that too. And this last tubed canvas we have, we can't really tell what it's from, can we? But this is a Sparkle Queen Creations um, diamond painting. This is Pop Art Redfish Bubbles. 
And because of the fact that it is double-sided adhesive, I can't exactly show you the image very well. And I tried to in my unboxing. Oh, I did leave the drills in here. <laughs> Look how messy I leave my drills, guys. It's terrible. But, ugh, I can show you the artwork this way. So this says it's a 60 by 60 centimeter canvas with square drills, but I believe the actual image is 70 by 70. Um, let me actually might be wrong. No, maybe it is 60 by 60. For some reason, I thought on the website it said it was 70 by 70, but maybe I'm wrong. Um, but it's so cute. It's such a cute image. Um, and what I love about Sparkle Queen Creations is that their double-sided adhesive is incredible. Not only is it incredible, uh, their drills are incredible because Mitzi goes above and beyond to give you the best experience possible with your kits. Even though these types of baggies are not my favorite, um, the drills themselves are amazing. And can we talk about how there's six ABs in this kit? That's amazing. And not only are there six ABs in this kit, she also gives you an option to not use those ABs if you wanted to. So she includes the regular drills as well as the ABs for you. Um, plus the drills are resin and they're really, really kind of perfect. Um, I did one kit from her already that I have yet to do a post review on that maybe I'll get to in the new year. I don't know. But I just, I love, I love, 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 love her kits so much. Okay, and these other two canvases are kind of miscellaneous. So this one here is from, it's a little squished. Ooh, my bad, my bad. Um, this one is from Royal Diamond Painting. This is one of my most expensive canvases, if not my most expensive canvas that I own. This is Curious Mermaid. It's a 70 by 70 and I got this in square drills, which I might regret. I might regret that because I'm not sure if I'll like the squares with this. Um, I have yet to do this kit for many reasons. Um, one is because I'm nervous. <laughs> and two, I just, I don't know. I just haven't gotten around to doing it yet. And I guess I just don't want to be disappointed. I don't think I'll be disappointed. Um, the rendering looks great. Uh, but the symbols are super tiny and a little bit hard to read. But I feel like the image will look amazing. It has... 70 colors 70 colors and that's kind of what royal diamond painting prides themselves on is having the maximum amount of colors for the most detail but that also means a lot of confetti um royal diamond painting uses a lot of licensed stock photos although they do have some artists uh licensed artists on their site as well their kits are very expensive um but it came very quickly from China. I think I got it in less than a week, which was really impressive. So customer service, I had no issue with at all. I'm just, I'm nervous. I'm a little nervous as to how this canvas will turn out, but the colors are going to be so gorgeous. I already, I already know the colors will be absolutely stunning. And the last kit that I have of kind of my loose kits, my miscellaneous kits, the kits that don't have a box in, or in, are in a tube, um, is Glacier Skies from Lolo Rose Diamonds. This is another company that is relatively new to the diamond painting community that does legally licensed uh, stock photos mostly, but I believe they're also doing some artist uh licensing as well i'm not entirely sure but this kit has a good amount of ab's in it which is part of the reason why i loved it so much i also because i don't really do landscapes that often but this image just called to me i just loved the colors in this image and i did do an unboxing of this um so i'm not going to take it out of the plastic but it's just it's a 60 by 90 did i say it it was a 60 by 90 in round drills. Well, I'm saying it now. <laughs> it was a 60 by 90 in round drills. It's gorgeous. Yeah, I have a feeling it's going to look spectacular um, in person with all the drills on it. So this was actually a kit I unboxed uh, recently, pretty recently. This is from Diamond Dots at Home, which I am affiliated with, but I don't really promote it that often because I don't know. 
Sometimes they don't come out with kits very often. Actually, they don't come out with kits very often at all. Um, but this was actually one of the new kits that they came out with. Um, this is, what is the name of this kit? Moonlight Beach. Um, what are the dimensions? Does it say what the dimensions are? Um, it does not, which is a little annoying, but, <laughs> or a little strange, but this is mostly a full drill kit, although the sky, you can't tell me. So it's a partial painting, but most of the kit is drilled. So you put drills on most of the kit. Um, it did come with an AB, so, which was super exciting. If I remember cor correctly, I believe it did. Um, I also really just love this image. Again, it's another landscape. I don't normally do landscapes, but this I feel like would be really super quick. Um, and it'll look really pretty when it's done. So yeah, so that's Diamond Dots at Home. Okay, so the next kind of miscellaneous kit, or the kit that I don't have tons and tons of from said company. So this is Oraloa. Uh, oh, I gotta flip it on like 10,000 sides. Um, and this is in French, and I can't speak French or pronounce this very well, but um, it's a lovely girl drinking coffee, and I thought this was a really great fall image. I was going to do this for drills and chills. So I'm actually not sure if I purchased this kit before or after they updated to resin drills, um, but I guess I'll find out when I do it, huh? So it's a 71 by 71 centimeter canvas. It's just such a cute image. She just reminded me of me with my coffee in the morning, and there were a lot of pinks in it, which I love, um, but I didn't get around to it this fall. Um, hopefully, maybe next fall I'll get around to it, or maybe I'll just do it during the winter season, because it's still a wintry type canvas, isn't it? So we'll see. So <laughs> this is the only Distracted by Diamonds that I have in my stash currently. It's The Message by Greta Lusky. It's a 52 by 70 centimeter canvas in square drills. And the only reason I'm like hesitant to do this right now is because the square drills gave me a hard time this year with Distracted by Diamonds. Um, but I just love this image so much and I really, really love mermaids. So this is like a need for me. I need to have all the mermaids all the time. Like I, anytime a company comes out with a mermaid, I'm like, please, yes give it to me. I want it. <laughs> so I had to have it and here it is and it will be done <laughs> eventually. <laughs> so now we are coming up to the kits that I kind of have the most of. Um, so I have four dreamer designs. Um, and this first one here is Harley. The only problem with this is that I can't show you the bottom of the box productively. So this I might actually take out of the box for so we can see it. But this is Harley by Curtis Reykjavik. It's a 60 by 80 centimeter canvas. This is in round drills. This was a discontinued canvas because there were issues with Warner Brothers um, having the rights to Harley Quinn, obviously. And Dream Designs did not have the rights to Harley Quinn, but it's fine. I'm glad they came out with it anyway, because Harley is my favorite. I love Harley Quinn so much. We're taking it out of the box so I can show you the kit. Um, because the way <laughs> the way the box is, I can't, and the way I have my camera set up, I can't show you it effectively, but oh my gosh, here she is. So there are a few APs in this kit, I believe. There are th uh, two, there's only two, which is fine. It's not a big deal. She's got a little Joker voodoo doll there. These are all the drills <laughs> that I had or that come with the kit. Um, she's just, oh, she's so perfect in every way. And I love Harley to death. Um, I would love to see some like, Warner Brothers Harley kits. I know Diamond Art Club has Warner Brothers license, so Diamond Art Club, give me some Harley Quinn. <laughs> the next Dreamer Designs kit that we have is Elation by Marie and Marie Bone. Um, this is actually a kit I will be de-stashing de um, in the future. Um, I will let you all know when that happens. I just cannot see myself ever getting around to this kit. Um, there's too much confetti. I love love, love the colors in it. But with all the other kits that I have in my stash, this is just not one I can see 
myself getting to. Uh, but there might be someone out there who would love this kit and I will let you know when I'm doing that de-stash, um, but it will probably happen sometime in the beginning of 2022, just because I don't have time right now. <laughs> uh, this is also another Dreamer Designs I will be getting rid of. So this is Smooth Sailing by Michael Humphreys. This is an 80 by 60 in square drills. I'm so sorry, you can't see this very well. But this actually is a very funny story. So I did not purchase this kit. Um, this was actually my first experience with Dreamer Designs. I ordered Confetti the Cat as a birthday gift for somebody uh, to do as a birthday gift. And on accident, I received this kit, which was somebody else's kit. It had a whole other shipping label inside the box, even though the shipping label on the box was my address. The invoice is the correct term. The invoice on the inside of the box had a different name, had a different address, so I got somebody else's kit on accident. Um, but they let me keep it. However, I'm not a lighthouse person. This has been in my stash for since the beginning of the year, I think, and I just, I cannot see myself getting to it. This will also be a part of the D stash, um, happening in the beginning of next year. So the final kit I have from Dreamer Designs comes in their new box, which is so gorgeous. I love their new box. And this is Salem, another Curtis Reykjavik. Um, and this is another 60 by 80 in square. Uh, no, this is round drills. And there's a lot of colors in this kit. I love Curtis's artwork so much. Um, and I love that Dreamer Designs has taken him on as an artist. Uh, because I love his artwork so much. Um, I wish I had the funds to purchase more of his artwork from them, but I do not. So <laughs> it is what it is. So now we move on to the meat and potatoes of my diamond painting stash. <laughs> my diamond art club kits. There's a lot of them. <laughs> so, or I mean, a decent amount. I'm sure people have more, but I have a decent amount. <laughs> so... The first one, the tiniest one. So this is Rainbow Little Dragons by Sheena Pike. It's a square, my kids are falling over. This is Rainbow Little Dragons by Sheena Pike. It's a square kit. Now this kit I actually purchased from Diamond Art Club's Amazon storefront. So instead of the original, like, I think it's around 60 by 80. I think it's more or less smaller or larger than that. Um, but this kit is 33 by 38 centimeters. Now I'm so interested in seeing what this kit looks like compared to the bigger one. Um, if it looks different or if it's compromised, the, re the rendering is compromised a little bit. I don't know. I won't know until I do it. Um, but I was very interested in getting this kit in the smaller size to see what it looks like in comparison. Um, cause... Honestly, I probably would not have purchased this kit in the larger size, but it was so cheap in the small, in this size. I think it was like 20, 15, it might've been $15, 15 to $20. I'm actually not entirely sure. Um, but if it was the same price and the same size on Amazon, I probably wouldn't have bought it. I don't know. It was a little experimental kit. In that same vein, we have Undersea Dreaming by Mandy Manzano. This was also a kit I purchased from the Diamond Art Club Amazon storefront. It's also a little smaller than the kit on the website. Now, this was a kit that I probably would have purchased either way from the Diamond Art Club website or Amazon. But since this kit was cheaper, I opted to go for the cheaper one and, you know, sacrifice a bit of size to get it at a cheaper price. And I actually don't think I opened this. I didn't do an unboxing of this. So let's take a look at it. I know I looked at it, but I did not unbox this. Why did I not unbox this? That's a great question. Um, it might have been because I also got this during my hiatus and I just wanted to... I think I got the Rainbow Little Dragons one first and that's why I unboxed that and not this one at the same time. I actually don't remember, but let's take a peek. Let's just take a look at it. That's why we're here, right? We're here to look at the stash. So let's look at the stash. Yay! So it's a great size. It really is nice and small, 41 by 66, round drills, super quick, a really digestible kit. The other one is, um, I think, only a few centimeters larger than this. 
Um, but it's not, the size isn't too terribly compromised, not like um, Rainbow Little Dragons. It's definitely smaller though. Definitely, definitely smaller. However, I do think this has more ABs. This has four ABs in it. Um, I think the one on Diamond Art Club's website only has two. Uh, so even though you're getting a bit of a smaller size, you're getting more ABs and a cheaper price. So that's really, really nice. And an updated sticker sheet as well comes with it. Look at these drills. These might have Diamond Art Club's new round drills. They're so small. Sparkly. Look at that 310. Anyway, we're not here to do a full-on unboxing. We're here to look at the stash, but it's super nice. The next one I have lying here is Dear Diary by Christine Karen. So this one I unboxed recently. This is actually my most recent kit from Diamond Art Club. I'm sorry, I'm having trouble getting into frame. <laughs> it's a 56 by 71 centimeter canvas in round drills. Oh, I love Christine Karen's artwork and I it makes me so happy. I just love the type of art she does. Next we have a Halloween kit from Diamond Art Club. This is one Halloween. It's a 56 centimeter by 71 centimeter canvas in square drills by Molly Harrison. Um, this was not one of the pre-orders from the Halloween pre-order they did. Um, this was a kit they came out with a couple weeks before Halloween that I wanted to see maybe if I could possibly get to for drills and chills but I was totally overestimating what I could do <laughs> during that month because that month was crazy and I wanted to do like four different kits and it wasn't gonna happen. But next Halloween, this will be my kit for drills and chills. So the next Diamond Art Club I have is Reading Tree by Randall Spangler. So I actually didn't unbox this on my channel. Um, It's backwards, I realized you can't see the image. Haha, <laughs> Emily, you silly goose. Um. It's a 104 centimeter by 51 centimeter canvas. Now, because this canvas is huge, I'm not gonna take it out of the box because yeah, it's too big and it'll knock everything down on my desk and I we can't have that. But I, act, I did not unbox this on my channel, but this was one of the kits that I was planning to do to start off the new year. I love Randall Spangler's uh, artwork, just not all of it. Um, is a need for me, but I thought this was such a cute piece of art. I love the tree. I love the dragons reading the books. I just feel like this is so great for a classroom, even though I'm not planning to be a teacher. <laughs> um, I feel like it just would look so cute in a kid's room or all that. So these next couple Diamond Art Club kits, I'm actually um, planning on probably de-stashing. Uh, so this is Mermaid Legends. This is Mermaid Legends by uh, Genovia Art. It's a square kit, it's 70 centimeters by 99 centimeters. And look, I love mermaids, like beyond love mermaids. So it pains me to probably get rid of this kit, but um, I just kind of figured that there will be a lot more mermaids in the future. Um, this will not be the last mermaid I get. And the reason I'm de-stashing is just because it's not my favorite. Um, and yeah, so this might be a kit you see in my de-stash. And then I'm only getting rid of like three or four kits. It's not crazy. My stash isn't terribly huge. Um, <laughs> but it's big enough. <laughs> so the other kit that I am planning on de-stashing in the new year is Inspiration of Spring Meadows. So... This was a kit that I did not unbox on my channel. It's by Chuck Pinson. It's the only Chuck Pinson I own because again, I'm not a huge landscape fan. But the reason I purchased this kit is because it reminded me so much of when me and my boyfriend went upstate to um, Lake George for a week and we loved it there. So I actually bought this at the same time that I bought Spirit of Flight because I was so in the headspace of being in the mountains and it remind it just looked like where we were staying and I loved staying there so much that I wanted a kit to remember it by but I don't know I don't know if I will ever get to this kit because I don't gravitate towards landscapes we'll see I don't know I'm still kind of debating whether or not I want to de-stash this one but the mermaid one uh, mermaid legends I probably will be de-stashing this one I'm still kind of a little bit on the fence about. Next kit, oh, this next kit, is Artemisa by Enez Guerrero. Um, I'm gonna be real with you. 
I thought about de-stashing this kit. <laughs> um, this was the first kit I unboxed on my channel. It was what kickstarted my channel. And this kit is not at all the type of artwork that I'm gravitated to normally. I do normally like to diamond paint people and faces and all that, but I, um, Enya's Guerrero's artwork is a little too dark for me. <laughs> um, but something about this image, man, I was so into it. Um, but I thought about it, about de-stashing it. Um, and then I realized, you know what? No, after how much I liked working on Warm Witch, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do it. This is gonna be my next project. <laughs> so starting off 2022 will be Artemisa. So if you'd like, you can follow my Instagram to keep up with progress posts on it when I start to work on it because it's coming up next. <laughs> so this is Moon Elf by Rika Sophia Rakinen. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I'm so sorry if I butchered it. Um, this is a 46 centimeter by 69 centimeter canvas in round drills. This is another really kind of small quick project there's so much beautiful pinks purples and blues in there which is all my favorite colors to diamond paint with so i cannot wait to get to this kit um it's ugh, it's gonna look so beautiful i've seen it completed and it just looks stunning so the next one we have is skull mermaid by safina art this is a uh, 51 centimeter by 71 centimeter canvas in square drills. This seems like a color blocker's dream when I... Did I unbox this on my channel? I think I did, right? I unboxed Skull Mermaid on my channel. <sighs> Editing Emily will put in here whether or not I actually unboxed this on my channel because I don't remember. Um, I feel like I did, but I... <sighs> I'm having a mental brain fart. But I was so excited to have this kit... And I was so sad to see that it was being discontinued. But after what happened to me in <laughs> with the beauty, uh, which is a Mandy Manzano princess that I unfortunately, and to this day I still cry about it, missed out on. I was like, I'm not missing out on another kit that I know I'll be kicking myself for not getting. Um, so I purchased it and it was cheap. It was only like $34 or $35 because it was being discontinued and it was on sale. Um, this is... A Peter Pan mermaid. I am obsessed with Peter Pan. At least that's what the fan art is supposed to depict. So this is Skull Rock. In the back is supposed to be like Captain Hook's pirate ship. At least that's what I like to envision. But this is a Neverland mermaid. And I'm so happy I have it. Um, and this will also be a kit that I get to uh, early on in the year. And we are definitely coming down to the wire here. So we have... Time to Spare by Sarah Mustafa. This is another princess. This is a 56 centimeter by 69 centimeter canvas, another smaller canvas in round drills. So the rendering for this is a little iffy, but this is Rapunzel and I am a Disney person and I love princesses and Disney and I had to have it. So <laughs> the second to last one in my stash here is Off to the Ball by Hannah Lynn. So this is actually one of my oldest canvases. I I think I purchased this last October, so it's been like a year that it's been in my stash, but I I will get to this at some point. I just, I love this image. It's so colorful. It's a princess. It's Cinderella, so you know, I'm just, I'm a princess person, and I just love the colors in this, and I keep seeing people complete it, and I'm like, damn, I want to do that. So it's a 70 centimeter by 88 centimeter canvas in square drills. And last, but absolutely and definitely not least, is See It Doesn't Matter by Mandy Manzano. This is 55 centimeters by 77 centimeters in square drills. I love this kit. Love it. This is also one of my older kits. I purchased this a year ago, last November, because I wanted... To do, I just love this image. It was colorful, it was beautiful, the representation is amazing. I thought this would have been a perfect kit to do around the time when the new live action Little Mermaid movie was coming out, but then it just kept getting pushed back because of, you know, the whole thing going on in the world right now. But I believe, I think the movie's coming out in March this year. So when that happens, this kit will finally be worked on. I've just been saving it for when the movie comes out because I just thought it would be a perfect way to celebrate the movie. 
and it just hasn't come out. And I've been debating, like, should I just do it? But no, it'll come out eventually. I just have to wait. Um, and Ariel's one of my favorite princesses. So it just, it just seemed really fitting. So, oh my goodness. An hour later, almost an hour later, um, we've gone through my entire stash. Um, I don't know how many kits that was. Editing Emily will put up on the screen right now how many kits I just showed you. Um, I don't think it's as many as I think it is. It feels like a lot, especially with this video being an hour long. Um, <laughs> but I have a lot of kits and a lot of them are Diamond Art Club. Um, but also a few of them are being de-stashed. Again, I will let you guys know more information about that after the new year. Um, but yeah, those are all my kits and I pretty much purchased all these kits after I started my Instagram account and my YouTube channel. I don't think I would have this many kits if I did not, if, yeah, if I did not have an Instagram or a YouTube channel. I'm just constantly being enabled by all these unboxing videos and seeing everybody's progresses on Instagram, working on all these kits. Um, but I don't know, I wouldn't regret it for a second. I, I love diamond painting so much and yes, I have a lot of kits, um, but it's because I love a lot of, of these images. Most of these images. All of these images I love. If I didn't love them, I wouldn't have them. <laughs> but it's a good amount. It's a good amount. So without prolonging this video any longer, I hope you all enjoyed. Um, let me know what your favorite was in the comments below. Let me know if you got this far. Um, and if you did get this far, let me know, let me know you, what your favorite canvas was that, um, I showed you and what you might consider purchasing if you haven't already. Um, also all the links, uh, to these companies will be listed in the description. All the videos of the unboxings that I've done for, um, the kits that have unboxings will be listed, hopefully up in the eye. If not, that playlist will be linked down in the description as probably as well in addition to. Um, but other than that, I, <laughs> I gotta get out of here. I've been sitting here filming for a long time, talking for a long time. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, night, whenever it is you are watching this. And I hope you continue to spread positivity and creativity in your everyday life. Be on the lookout for more end of the year videos like this one, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!